A gym in San Francisco is claiming to be the first ever pot-friendly gym in the world. Gonna have myself a little back in uh, chest workout, but uh, first. The co-founder of Power Plant Fitness is opening the facility to prove pot smokers aren't all lazy and out of shape. Wish I had an easy job like you have. You have the easiest job on earth. <laughs> you smoke all day. <laughs> He's also in charge of the 420 Games, an annual pro-weed event that hopes to fight negative stoner stereotypes. So now you can get the munchies while you do your crunchies. Is that really the best we can come up with? You insisted we put down. <laughs> yeah. People who smoke weed are often seen as dumb, sluggish, and unfocused. I'm feeling like I really don't care <laughs> if I understand, even. <laughs> but some of the world's most successful and active people smoke pot. Four out of the last five American presidents have used cannabis. Richard Branson uses cannabis. Carl Sagan used cannabis. Athletes like Ricky Williams and Michael Phelps are known for it. I can't sit here and say that it's bad. Former NBA player Jay Williams says plenty of athletes already use cannabis. How many athletes do you think are using uh, marijuana in? 75, 80%. Doc Ellis once threw a no-hitter on acid. I didn't see the hitters. All I could tell was if they were on the right side or the left side. But I don't think an acid gym is a very good idea. Arnold Schwarzenegger has been known to blaze it. But other bodybuilders seem split on the issue. And every time I smoked weed, smoked marijuana, Mary Jane, and went to the gym, I was always stronger. If you have a joint or two, you get the munchies, and what do you crave? I'll tell you, it's not carrot sticks and celery. If somebody's stoned at the gym lifting heavy weights around me, I'm gonna kick that freaking stoner ass. <laughs> weed is different for everyone, and some people just aren't good at it. I think you are stoned. I'm stoned. <laughs> and I don't like being stoned. And the owner of Power Plant Fitness recognizes that. There are a lot of people that shouldn't smoke cannabis. It affects them poorly and it will make them a bad athlete, it will make them fall asleep, and it's not for them. But others benefit. Fortunately for those people, the stigma does seem to be changing. More people support it than don't, and there's even been a recent push to let NFL players use it for pain relief. But is smoking at the gym a good idea? Well, you can't spell spot me without pot. Really? That's the best thing we you can- You wrote that line. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is your mic check.